I used to work, I used to work in like marketing type jobs. Mm. And I went once to do a photo shoot at a farm <laughs> with a guy called uh, Nigel Thomas. He was a great guy. And I didn't know much about Nigel other than his sort of professional capacity. Mm. We went round his house to do it. Right. And when we went round, so I'd have been, I mean, this is quite old, you know, I was 20 odd. Right. But we went round and he showed us in this one room, which was probably, well, you were, I don't know, sort of, I'm not very good at measurements, 10 foot room, okay. all sort of beautiful oak and wood and mahogany, completely full of vinyl records. Wow. And he was a guy that used to get, I remember the day we were there, he received a parcel from Japan of random vinyl. Right. And he just used to sign up for these. I mean, he made good money, I think. So, yeah. but um, he just used to sign up for stuff. He didn't know what it was. It wasn't like he'd gone on a website. Well, this is pre-internet anyway. But he right. like he'd gone on the some catalog and go, "What this?" Track. He would just sign up for these things, and people would send him vinyl from around the world. And he had it all in this room. And in this room, all the walls were covered in vinyl. I think it was probably acoustic retreat as well. I'm not an expert on that. And then the only other thing in the room was one chair, a leather back sort of high back chair, a stereo and some speakers right. and I get the impression and again I'm not an expert on sort of audio equipment but it was top end stuff yeah. you know, I mean gold wires and everything <laughs> and that was it there was this beautiful room with a window outside of the countryside a chair stereo speakers and he goes and, and you know he, he knew that I was kind of into music and playing guitars and he goes oh you've got to listen to something you've got to listen to something just to hear it through this so I went and he goes, what do you want to hear? And I'm a big ACDC fan, big, good, that's right. He had everything, it could have been Abra, it could have been ZZ Top, it could have been, you know, anything in between. But he said, all right, I'll put you on some ACDC. So he got the van and put it on this turntable and he put on a song called uh, um, Shook Me All Night Long, which is on mm -hmm. Black in Black, the sort of famous 80s, early 80s record they did. Um, and it start, that song starts, if you don't know, it, it's just drums. Mm. It's like, boom, tsh. Yeah. And then the guitar comes in and he put it on at a reasonable volume and I'm sat in this chair and I had my eyes shut and it was like being in a room with a drum kit. It didn't sound like a record of a drum kit. Do you know what I mean? It right, sounded right. like you were actually there and someone was six foot away hitting a drum kit. And then the guitar came in and it was the most immersive thing. Do you know what I mean? It was right. it was it was music on steroids, because I'd listened to that <laughs> album, you know, by that time, probably a thousand times on cassette, CD, you know, probably even had it on vinyl myself, but on a crappy Amstrad thing that I had. Yeah. But that was like just the most breathtaking sort of like realisation of, this, this is how it should sound. This is what it was meant to sound like. So I went through kind of a, uh, an early phase in kind of being about nine, ten years old, but I was listening to kind of what was in the charts and just really getting into music. Okay. So my, um, a couple of my cousins and one to other people I knew were into kind of heavy metal and they got me listening to that sort of music and my kind of, the album that kind of encompasses that was the Black Album by Metallica. Right. And I listened to that thing religiously on a daily basis for almost two years. Right. Like it was everywhere. So I had, um, alarms going off. We'll just go. <laughs> That's so classic. Um, um, working through like I had the CD of it but I made a copy on cassette and it went in the car and it stayed in the car so my parents had to put up with it <laughs> and we went anywhere and it, it just for me it was like a, a pivotal album and it was at that point that I was um, also learning to play guitar okay I learned quite a lot of the songs off that album in, in like my early stages of learning to like play so it was quite integral to kind of where I then went with music and it was quite interesting because um, I listened to it religiously and really wanted to kind of like play those songs and I got to go and see Metallica play live and they were one of my favourite bands but kind of learning to play the solos and learning more about Kirk Hammett um, led to me listening to other things like he listened to a lot of jazz so I listened to a lot of jazz and so it had kind of a formative effect on like kind of diversifying what I listened to so by the time I was sort of sort of 13, 14, I was already listening to quite a diverse range of music. 